do you sometimes struggle with finding the perfect shade of lipstick especially when it comes to luxury lipsticks it's kind of hard to pick them out now that we're shopping more online and not going into the stores and trying on lipsticks and colors as much i feel like this was a good video to do to find your perfect luxury lipstick color for gray hair if you pick a lipstick color it should really go with your skin color and not so much with your gray hair over the years i found that it really depends on your skin and your undertones so for me for instance my undertone is more yellow warm when it comes to winter time i tend to be more of a neutral undertone and then when it's summertime because i get more sun I'm more of a warm tone. I wanted to go through some of the um, luxury lipsticks that I have collected over time and wanted to show you what looks good with gray hair. I'm going to show you the colors that I do use on a regular basis and the colors I do like. And then I will tell you what the colors are and what brand it is. So you, if you want to uh, get something like that for yourself, you can go ahead and get it. And I'm going to link everything in the description box here too. So you can uh, check out the links if you want to get them. This is a kind of, kind of neutral tone I would go with. This one is by Lawless and it's called Fawn. You see how light it is? But it's actually almost like my own lip, lip color. Might be a tad bit slightly pinker, but this is the kind of neutral tone I would wear. And um, this color, I feel like it looks better on me in the winter time because I'm more of a neutral tone. I feel like right now I'm a little bit kind of slightly darker for this, but if I did want to use something like this, I would put a, a brown or a little bit, just like one or two shades deeper lip liner right underneath to kind of outline my lips. And this one is a new one by Patrick Todd. This one is called Oh She's Single. When I first bought this lipstick, when it came in, I was like, what was I thinking? Why did I buy this? First impression, I really disliked this color. At first, I, I, I kind of scared me. I was like, whoa, this is too yellow. I hate it. But as I kept trying it with different eyes, eye makeups and different makeup looks, I really started, it grew on me. This color really grew on me. And I like the, the way it feels on the lips too. It's very, very creamy. Your, your lips never ever feels dry or, and it always stays creamy. Pillow Talk is a really nice neutral shade. I really like Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. It has a hint of slight pink, kind of mauve undertone to it. And you see how it's it's creating a really nice contrast between my skin and my lips. I really enjoy wearing this. Again, this is the same kind of creamy lipstick that I really like. It's kind of like the same as Patrick Ta's. It's very creamy and it doesn't dry out the lips. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Pillow Talk, but if you're not, I just wanted to swatch it so you can see. It's more mauve color and it is truly a beautiful shade a neutral shade that you can wear now she came out with another series of pillow talk and this is the medium one that she came out with so you see it's slightly darker and it's more mauvey than the original pillow talk and sometimes i'm really horrible at putting lipstick on <laughs> um, that's why i like to line my lips because i always feel like i'm a messy lipstick applicator person but this is the, um, the color, which I really like when I want to go a little bit deeper, but I still want to keep that neutral tone. I really like using number two. Ilya is one of my favorite brands. They're clean at Sephora. I really like their, their line. Just anything really from Ilya. Oh, I have two of their lipsticks here. I want to show you the different shades. This one's called uh, Rosewood and this one's called Rosé. I'm going to try on the Rosé for you first. Rosé is definitely more pink. It looks much darker in the tube than it actually does on the lips. But I like this for the days that I want to look a little bit more pink than neutral. So I like using this one for those days that I want to wear a slightly pinker color. It's really pretty and this is one of those 
nice creamy lipsticks that I really enjoy. It's one of those colors that would go with a lot of different skin tones. You know what? I'm going to put some concealer on my lips because I feel like now they're getting really out of control. Where's my concealer? I'm going to add a little bit on top and bottom. I, I get OCD when I, <laughs> when I get this blurry line around my lips. I feel like I'm like being really messy. Uh, I like to like clean it up. Okay, let's swatch the rosewood first. This is definitely more of a reddish it has more red in it that definitely has a lot more pink in it you can already see side by side great contrast between the uh, skin and the lips and it really looks good with gray hair i like putting this on even when i don't have any eye makeup on or nothing this is if i had a signature color this type of color would be my color i love wearing this on its own without you know, a whole lot of makeup, a little bit of brow, put some blush on and this lip, that's it. One of those everyday lips that you can wear if you're going out on a date or you wanna just add a little more punch to your makeup. It's just a gorgeous shade. Okay, this one is called Hype and this one is by Milk Makeup and I love this shade. I would call this like more of a fuchsia undertone kind of between a fuchsia and lilac maybe oh yeah it is lilac see even if you don't wear eye makeup this is a beautiful shade if you have fair skin i believe you really enjoy this too it's kind of one of those colors that really looks good with fair skin tone too i don't feel like it's very complementary to my skin tone right now but as we go into january you know december january i would wear this color a lot more and pairing it up maybe with a slightly darker lip liner. These lipsticks were released by It Cosmetics not too long ago. They're called It Cosmetics Pillow Lip Collagen, and uh, they have two different types of them. Uh, one is matte and one is cream. I like the matte one slightly more than the creamy one um, because the creamy one felt like it was a little bit shinier than the matte one, and I really like matte lipsticks, but I like matte lipsticks that are creamy. This one is called Wistful. And this is another one of those colors that I adore. And I like this one because it has a minty scent to it. It feels really luxurious on the lips. It feels so creamy and nice. I really love, this is one of my favorite shades, Wistful. Okay, this is my very first YSL lipstick, which is why I love it so much. It's like precious to me. I even had my name engraved on it at a Sephora event. It was one of those moments where I was like, oh, my first YSL. It's called, what do you call it, baby? 83, that's what it's called. Rouge Pour Couture, and it's number 83. It's like between brown and red. And this is one of those colors that, gosh, YSL lipsticks are so, nice mm, yes so this color is more of a brownie brownie red <laughs> it has, it's more brown but it has a hint of like a warm um slightly brown slightly red it's got like a really interesting tone to it and this is one of those lipsticks that i would wear with uh, makeup that's more neutral and uh, maybe even smoky eye like this, but more of a brown smoky eye. It has nice shine to it and it's just really flattering um, on the skin, and especially with gray hair. This is the type of color that I would wear with my skin tone, against my skin tone. It has a more of a warm tone to it, so it looks good against a medium with warm undertone skin. I can imagine this being looking really nice on fair skin with warm undertone, but um, I don't think it's gonna look great with someone with a cool undertone, but uh, I don't know, maybe it will. If you are wearing those, uh, this color and you have fair skin tone with cool undertones, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know, leave a comment below. Let me know how you like it. Okay, let's go to the next one. And it actually tints your lip. So when, even if it goes away, look how pretty it looks on the lips. This is the other It Cosmetics Pillow uh, lip that I wanted to show you. It's again matte 
This is the type of red I like wearing. I don't like wearing reds that are too blue because it just, I feel like it ages me a bit and it looks too harsh on my skin, especially now that I have more white gray hair. Slightly orangey lipsticks look, or true red lips, old Hollywood kind of red lips, look really good on. This is definitely the kind of red that makes a statement and it's the kind of red lipstick that I like wearing with white. We like wearing this with um, denim, with t-shirt. You just put this on and you, you look like you made a huge effort into your makeup without really trying. It's called Fanciful Matte by It Cosmetics. Okay, so just to show you what color I would not wear would be something like this color. I know that a lot of people think that because you have gray hair, you should wear cool tone colors and colors that are, look more like this or even maybe a little bit lighter. But for me, when I wear this color, this type of color, it just looks so harsh on my skin tone now. And I feel like it's not flattering to my uh, skin tone at all. Um, I mean, I might, if I wanted to wear this, I would maybe wear it t like this. I would. I would um, smear it and kind of diffuse the color to get a slightly kind of like a wash of pink, but I would never wear this like this harsh of a tone. Um, unless like it's a Halloween party <laughs> and I'm going to a Halloween party, I might wear it or if I'm doing a look that requires a color like this for Instagram or something like that. But in reality, in real life, I would never wear this color. All right, I think I have two more colors to show you and then I'm done. Let's see. Uh, now I wanted to show you uh, these new YSL lip tints that came out. I'm gonna try swatching it here because I feel like now my, my hands are really stained. This uh, lip tint is almost looking like the other YSL lipstick that I showed you. And actually there's a name for it, but I can't remember what the name was. But uh, it's the color 211. This is actually a, a tint, a lip tint, but it's very, very, um, highly pigmented so it can pass on as a lipstick but that once it it fades it will be like a tint I really like the applicator it makes the application so precise you can literally draw lips <laughs> with this applicator mm -mm -mm. It's super creamy super super comfortable to wear and I really love how this color looks I feel like it almost looks like the other color like this other color that I showed you, my first, but actually I think it is. Now, this is another YSL. This one is called Rouge Doudouche Doudouche. I don't know, what are you called? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna put the name of it in the description box so if you wanna know. This one feels more like a, this one is more of a lip balm. And if you're not very fond of pigmented lipsticks this is a good choice to have in your collection and it it has it has tiny bits like the finest finest i want to say glitter it's super hydrating uh it makes your lips look really really hydrating and um full and it actually helps uh tastes really good too. It tastes really, really good. And it has the finest, finest glitters. I mean, you can't really, you really have to look hard to see the glitter, but it is there. But it's kind of, that's what's contri contributing to the shine and the, the flecks of pink that you see. But it's very comfortable to wear if you like lip balms and you want something like, that would be the brand, YSL brand. This would be a great option especially in the winter time and fall where you know you need extra hydration for the lips these are really amazing okay now that i wiped it off you can really see the glitter now so that was uh, my video for you that was uh, what i wanted to show you with some of the most perfect luxury lipstick colors for gray hair i hope that you liked this video and this video was helpful to you and if you find a, a shade that i haven't showed you that i should absolutely 100% check out. Um, please let me know in the comments. If you have a skin tone that is a, you know, a fair skin tone or deeper skin tone and you like a particular lipstick color, 
leave it in the comments below so we can help each other out. So if there's someone that has your skin type or your skin color, skin tone, can learn something from the community that we have here on YouTube. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the description box for the list of all the lipsticks that I showed you here. Stay healthy, be safe, and I will see you in my next video.